How's it going guys? You're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host Kyle Brotherson. Today we're going to be installing a flywheel weight and we're going to change the gearing on this 2003 Honda Project Bike. Stick around. As many of you know, this is the 2003 Honda CR250R Project Bike that we've been working on for about a year actually. You haven't seen the videos for about a year, but this has been a project in the making for more than a year. And I just recently got to ride this bike uh, out of the desert and I noticed when we had it in some, op some really open terrain and then some little bit tighter terrain through some juniper trees and things like that. And one of the things I noticed about this bike is that it really revs out super quickly and it's hard to get traction with the bike. And what I am looking to do is to slow that motor down a little bit more to give it a little bit more traction. Uh, it's to, to give more traction to the rear wheel. The other thing I want to do is I want to gear it down. Uh, it does have the motocross gearing. Uh, it had a 13 tooth front sprocket on the rear and then a 48 tooth sprocket on the back. What I'm going to do is install a 13 tooth sprocket on the front, which is, I mean a 12, a 12 tooth sprocket on the front, which when you take one tooth down in the front, it's like adding three teeth in the rear. So we're going to be doing that. But what I'm going to do today uh, for the main part of this video is I'm going to install this, uh, this Steely off-road flywheel weight. Now this is a flywheel weight, which is a 12 ounce weight. You can see that. I don't know if it'll focus in. I'll maybe have to do a shot of this at the bench, but it's a 12 ounce weight. Um, so it's a pretty heavy flywheel weight. And the whole idea is to slow this motor down, maybe give us a little bit more, um, a little bit more torque. I don't know if it's going to, but I know it will slow the, slow the motor down so that we can get a little bit more traction back here. Hopefully it doesn't steal too much of our low end torque because I know this bike doesn't have a lot of low end torque. Maybe it'll even give us a little bit back. I don't know. We'll just see. So I'm going to take you guys in right now and show you how I do this. We're just going to remove this uh, flywheel bolt and install our new flywheel weight. I've got a cool tool that I'll show you here uh, that we'll put in the spark plug to uh, kind of help with this. And uh, let's get right into it. Okay. So to get to this point, the first thing I did is I removed my skid plate because the skid plate was coming up over, over the, over the cover here. I removed the skid plate. I removed the shifter and then I was able to uh, take the, take the cover off here the flywheel cover off. So uh, really easy, just four bolts on this Honda and this exposes my flywheel. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install this piston stop tool. So I'll take my spark plug out and put this tool right down inside of here, which will basically lock up my, lock up my motor, lock up the piston so I can take this flywheel, uh, take this nut off the flywheel. I promise no controversy with this spark plug. We already did a controversial spark plug video. This tool though, slips right down inside. Pretty cool. Got uh, kind of a nylon tip down here. So this will drop right down in the cylinder. Um, I'll just tighten that down. And it just has to be in finger tight. That'll keep the uh, piston from turning over so we can get this flywheel bolt off. All right, with the piston stop tool up here in uh, my spark plug socket, now I'm going to take my 17 millimeter uh, socket and pull this thing off. There we go. Simple as that. Loosen that baby up. Pull the nut out. Okay, so I gotta dig this little washer out of here because the flywheel weight um, takes the place of the washer and the nut. So I gotta get, get this off and of course it's fighting me. Got it. Okay, so here's how this system works. Here's our flywheel weight. This is a 12 ounce flywheel weight, pretty heavy. It's almost a pound. And the flywheel weight is essentially going to take the place of that washer and the nut that is holding this flywheel in place. And then these set screws here that you can see, these are, these are little Allen keys. There's there's what, four of these, four of these little set screws that will clamp onto the actual flywheel itself and keep it in place. So you've got this, you've got the, you know, this is essentially going to be now a big nut and washer that is weighted and it'll clamp onto the actual flywheel. So in the kit, in order to, to make this easier to install, they've given you this little tool here, this installation tool, which is nothing, nothing more than a metal bar that uh, goes in with these, um, they look probably like 12 millimeter bolts. And this doesn't, I don't think this has to be on tight, super tight or anything. I'm just gonna put those down uh, finger tight because I don't think it needs to be anything more than that. 
snug those up just because I had the ratchet right there. So now this will just spin on just like this. Turn that all the way over. And then I'm going to need to get my, um, and the motor is going to turn on, uh, turn over all the way over until my, uh, until it stops on the piston up there with that piston stop tool. And now I'm going to torque this thing down. You want to torque this down to the manufacturer's uh, specs. It's going to be around 40 to 42 foot pounds on most bikes. So I've just got a breaker bar here. I need to go get my actual um, quarter or my actual half drive torque wrench and torque this down. I'll do that off camera. Okay, this is no longer needed. I'll pull this, this off. So notice this, how the flywheel is actually now, this flywheel weight is actually now over the edge of the housing here. Uh, that's just my luck on this version of Honda from 2002 to 2007. So now I've had to come over here, hopefully this is gonna focus. I've had to come over here and grind this out with the Dremel, this part here and then this part down here to make it so that this cover has enough clearance to fit with the, well, we'll put the spacer on here, but it'll have enough cover or enough, enough covers to fit because this is so, the tolerances in here are so tight. And it just so happens to be that it's only on 2002 to 2007 Hondas, which this is the 2003. So I had to go grind this off. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but I think we're ready to put it back together now. I should probably also note that I've taken time to scrape uh, all the gasket material off all the edges here and then on the other side of the cover as well. So I spent about 15 minutes just really getting that clean with a gasket scraper. Now we are going to put this thing back together with uh, more gasket material. There's a spacer on here and then a gasket and then I'll use some extra gasket material as well. Okay, I'm prepared with my new cover. There's a spacer you can see and then a gasket and then I have put uh, gasket maker, this red stuff here, high temp uh, silicone gasket stuff, all the way around this on both sides of that, you can kind of see, because um, I don't want to have any problems as far as leaking goes, so I'll kind of align that. I'm going to need to wipe my cover back off once I'm through with this, but I'll get these bolts to be started. Like this, look at all that. I'm making a mess. Some of the kits it says don't need a spacer, others do. This is one of the kits that it definitely needs a spacer for the flywheel weight, especially since this was a the heavier weight. Uh, so I'm just tightening this down, tightening this down evenly. Well, that's it guys. We've got this flywheel weight installed. If it wasn't for the fact that I had to uh, grind the cover off, this is not a very difficult thing, which you can do within just, you know, a relatively short amount of time, just maybe an hour or so. Uh, I still need to put my um, shifter back on. And as you can see, I put my, um, put the sprocket back, uh, sprocket on because I was gearing this thing down. Um, so I'm excited to see what this, how this changes the characteristics of the bike. Just to kind of recap, these videos are just for fun. This is, this is an older bike that we wanted to rebuild and, and do some fun things on and see what uh, it, it works, how well it works out on the trails. Um, yeah, we are comparing this to newer bikes because that's what we've got. I know it's apples to apples, but get, I mean, I know it's comparing apples to oranges, but I like comparing apples and oranges. It's, it's a fun thing to see how much, what this bike can do off road and what some of the things we can do are that will help to make it do a little bit better, like installing tubeless and changing the gearing and put a flying, put a flywheel weight on there. And I may revalve the forks just to kind of see, you know, if we can get this thing really, really dialed in, we did an 18 inch rear wheel. There's a number of things that we've done to kind of make this more of an off road, uh, woodsy bike and uh, we're gonna continue to try, try to hone this and fine tune it. So if you like these videos, please remember to subscribe to the channel. Also, please use the links down in the video description. I don't get paid to say any of this stuff, so if you use the links down in the description for parts or for Amazon or for whatever, it helps to support my family. Uh, you can also support me on Patreon. Um, if you go to patreon.com forward slash 
dirt bike channel. You can find me there. And every once in a while we do dirt bike giveaways. So this could be one of the bikes that you might win. Uh, so stay tuned to the channel for those types of things. And until next time, uh, you guys have a good one.